Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the Jenkins Mastery for the Top Trade Testers. In this video, we are basically going to convert our freestyle job into the pipeline job. I'm going to explain you step by step what exactly is a pipeline job and how you can basically take and help from a pipeline syntax generator to create your job stages, right? And I'm going to explain, give you a couple of more resources and we will be doing a, we will be creating a live demo a live pipeline job in front of you, uh, especially for the software testers because they have to run like Selenium project or any kind of a Maven project that you want to run, right? So in this demo, I'm going to show you all the things, okay? So let's get started. Awesome. Let me make myself a little smaller, guys. And let's first understand, little theory, guys. We just need to understand like what exactly is a Jenkins pipeline. Let me pull up my marker, right? First of all, what is Jenkins pipeline? Jenkins pipeline, if you see, is basically a suite for plugin which supports implementing and integrating a continuous delivery into e Jenkins, right? If you read this definition, you will not be able to understand. I think this is what uh, my personal point of view, but this is like a simple one, which we are, uh, if you see Jenkins pipeline, it's just a simple text file, which is known as Jenkins file, where we have basically written like, uh, what is the step that you want to follow? Right? It's, it's a basically a serial process that basically uh, you're mentioning that, okay, this is a step one, this is a step two, this is a step three, this is a step four. And these can be different. For example, it can be build step, it can be a test step, it can be deploy step, it can be publish report step, it can be basically sending the notification step. So this can be different stages that basically we are talking about, right? So pipeline is nothing but pipe by pipe, your stages or your tasks that you want to do. And they are basically resides under the Jenkins file. That's very simple, in a very simple terms I have explained to you. Okay. And yeah, done, done, done. Okay. Okay. So why pipeline is needed? If you see uh, pipeline uh, Jenkins is fundamentally an automation engine, which basically an automation server that you want to run, right? So uh, by introducing the pipeline, you are basically have an access to the code you have durability, you can pause it, you have versatile and extensibility. I mean, there are a couple of points and let me tell you in a very realistic manner, right? Uh, if you have any kind of a freestyle job, so let's compare it with the previous job, right? Which is freestyle job. We had like a couple of steps which are basically added by Jenkins itself, right? But suppose I have a different thing. For example, first of all, I need to set up my environment after that, I need to run my test cases and after that I have to publish it. I have to do notification. I have to do send the reports. See, these are all the things I have to automate. Now I don't have a very good mechanism or a very uh, flexible mechanism in the freestyle job, right? So that's why I'll go with the pipeline job where I can add my own stages. I can add my build step. I can add my deploy step. I can add my test step and other things, right? And I can do by with code. I can do with, uh, I can have more durability. I can pause the, pause the uh, builds between them and see what's happening. I can extend it. Like I, if I want to add new, a uh, new uh, stages also, I can do that, right? So these things are basically are kind of a feature for this pipeline, okay? And uh, I hope, I, I know it doesn't make little sense, but uh, I'll, when I will show you the practical demo, right? Let's see a practical demo how pipeline looks like, okay? So this is a very simple pipeline, which is called as hello pipeline, right? And uh, if you go to the configure section and uh, let's do a build section, right? It just said build the master branch, that's it, okay? And uh, if you go to this pipeline, right? Here you will see this script, which is pipeline script, which is running, right? Uh, you can run it from the source code also. Source code, SCM basically means you can run it from get, GitHub or anything like if you have this script available in GitHub or you can directly run the pipeline script. And this is the structure of a pipeline script, which basically says, uh, let me explain you like in a very simple way. Uh, it's basically saying that, okay, agent any, agent basically means which node you want to run. Uh, so node as of now, we don't know because we haven't means that uh, this is the parent Jenkins and you can have a certain nodes where you can delegate the task, right? So I can have another machine where, where I can run my Selenium test cases, right? So this node is basically attached to this machine. So I can, I'm saying it will run on any as of now, but I can specifically mention this, this script should be run on a particular machine also. So that way that's, so you will change those things here. Uh, stages. So you in the staging, you, I'm saying the first stage is example, 
and basically I'm saying that hello world and whatever the branch you have given. So this is like a batch kind of a command that I have mentioned here, right? So this is very simple pipeline job that we have created. Let's do one thing. Let's create this job uh, uh, right now in front of you, right? So we'll do something like this. Uh, click on the new item, right? And instead of choosing the freestyle now, okay, let's say hello. Hello, PP. Uh, let's say hello pipeline uh, let me say demo okay and instead of uh, instead of choosing freestyle you just say I need a pipeline job now okay and click on okay now it will basically give you one more option which is basically you have a general information right uh, it will have a build trigger how you want to trigger this for example you can trigger it periodically right and uh, or uh, for example if you enter like star dot star dot star dot five right and i think it's h by five okay you can see the example also here right if you want to run it uh there are a couple of example like uh, for example right every 15 minutes okay this is how i do it okay so suppose i want to run this job as every 15 minutes i just need to close this right uh this is the build trigger advanced project option uh which basically right now we don't have anything display name let's say abc and now you need to run pipeline script what you want to do so here is here you will mention your stages what you want to do exactly uh, you can try out some example also if you see uh, it says hello world right and if you click on it it basically automatically will generate you some of the syntax for you right uh, you can use this uh, thing also which is called as uh, pipeline syntax here also uh, for example uh, this is actually a snippet generator for a pipeline for example i want to run here you will see a couple of options like I want to run a bin windows batch file. So and this is the step I need to do. I need to start the notepad. This is actually a windows batch command. So if you click on generate, it will basically say this is the command you need to uh, enter here. Where, where you need to enter here, basically like this. Okay, that that you can say that you can. For example, here, uh, if, we, if I do this, you can do, uh, basically see we have hello world. We have GitHub plus Maven. Right. This is actually with what we needed. We will be doing it in the next step also that I want to run this Maven branch. I want to run uh, this Maven project because we already have a Selenium project that we want to run. Right. And uh, post build, I need to basically archive it and I may need to publish my report also. Right. Uh, scripted pipeline. I can do like other options also, which is basically more uh, option available. If you see these parameters, right, these are available from outside this. Okay, awesome. So I think this is clear. Uh, so this is a demo quickly, which top I have already created. Agent any stage. So stage hello, we have one stage only, which is hello, and you just say hello one, right? And if you run it, it doesn't, it basically simply, if you click on this build now, right? And if you see this, right, it just, it will just say the hello world. That's it. Yeah, I just want to leave it, right? Successful. Uh, we, if you see we have just hello right, right and now display name if you see we have changed it right abc a pipeline abc and here you would see the stage hello and we have run it that's it and you can see log also that it's a basically hello world printed right this is the simplest job that we have done now let's do one thing let's understand a complex pipeline also that i have created which is selenium pipeline i have created for you guys okay uh go to configuration right here what I have done is this is general information and build trigger. I, do, I don't have any trigger as of now. Advanced option, I can name it. I can rename it. For example, it will be uh, like Selenium. Selenium project on pipeline. So we right now are learning the pipeline. So that's why we have mentioned. And now you will see this is syntax, which is all. Actually, I have generated this with the help of, uh, you can say, uh, this uh, pipeline syntax, sir. Okay. Now what I, I am doing is it is very simple. We here in tool section we have just mentioned we will be using the Maven. Maven uh, as Maven MVN basically means this MVN I have installed it. If you know this, if you are following my first tutorial uh, in the manage section, if you go to this manage section, we have installed Maven, right? Uh, a global tool configuration. And if you go down, yeah. Maven installation, you will see MVN is available, right? Which is uh, Maven is 3.8.3, which we are using. So we, which uh, 
uh, basically have mentioned that I will be using this Maven. And now I have three steps, which is build step. First build step, I, I have only one step as of now. You can do it like multiple steps process also. For example, I can do like this is step one, step two, and step three. I mean, I can create more stages, I mean to say, sorry. Uh, so this is stage, they, they, I have mentioned this only in one stage, which is just building and running. It, it's actually build and run, if you see. Right. So what I'm doing is this is actually a syntax, if you see, which is already available on the syntax generator or pipeline, uh, which basically says uh, this is the URL of the Git and this is the branch I want to use. And you have to run this uh, command, which is MVN clean test and this file, uh, which basically we are running in a project. Right. And after that, you just need to publish this report and how I have generated this. You will see here somewhere around uh, publish the HTML report somewhere, somewhere, somewhere. If you want to create zip, you can do that. Yeah, publish HTML report, right? Here, if you mention all the parameters, it will basically generate for you guys, right? This thing, and I have just saved it. So very simple, I mean, this most of the syntax you will see I have generated using, and I have only one step, which is basically build and run, right? You can divide this section into fetching, uh, building and publishing report. You can do that in three stages also, okay? Uh, build now. So you can do this uh, and here you will see it's building. And if you see the name is changed, right? And here you will see the name is also changed. And oh, okay. I think we have double clicked on it. So two times it's running. And if you see our test cases are basically started, right? And test cases are running. This is a headless mode. That's why. And we have a published report also, right? So if you see here. Awesome, right? And if you click on this full stage view also, you will see uh, this a full view, right? What's happening. And if you click on this, you will see logs also what's happening. We are using this, fetching the environment variable, git, and this is the batch script that we have run. It's all basically mentioning everything. And here you will see test case and riser, which basically uh, I have added for the analyzing my test cases, right? And if you see, this is a very beautiful report, right? It was not run, six this pass, and all the test cases, and a couple of bit other options like what is the build status uh, with the builds, right? Five, six, build for all, uh, what's happening with the test cases, what's happening with the numbers. And here is the HTML report also that we have added. This is a basic report, very, num I mean, there are like two, three test cases which are running, only one test case, I think it's running back to the pipeline. So this is how basically we have done it. And I hope you are able to understand how to create the pipeline job now. Now you can do like more stuff also. For example, if you have a Docker images that you want to run, right? Uh, you can introduce Docker in your pipeline stages also. So pipeline is a user defined model for CD pipeline, right? Uh, we have option of node, stage and step that I have explained to you. Node, you can choose which machine you want to run, stages. Uh, what is the stage that you have? You can have like build st uh, stage, fetching stage, running stage, you can create your own stages also. And what is the step that you want to run? Step basically are com commands, single tasks that you want to run. Uh, this was a, uh, this is a traditional one. For example, build step, test step, and deploy. In the build step, you can mention your Git branch, test here where we are running the MVN one and deploy, or here you can mention reports for your testing purpose that these are the reports. So you will have three stages and you, you can basically test which basically is failing. So if stage this is stage is failing, you can de basically debug this. That's why it's very helpful. Awesome. And here you will see the example that we, uh, it's another example, which is basically uh, doing like making, uh, te testing, building the test case, running the test case and deploying it, okay? For the particular project, this is just a sample file. Okay. I hope you are able to grasp this concept and I hope that makes sense guys and thanks a lot for watching. I hope this pipeline job, uh, is making sense. Uh, task for you guys is just create the pipeline job in your local Jenkins and see how this is working for you. Are you able to run the Selenium project that I have mentioned in the video open and uh, are you able to run it with the parameters? Are you able to run it with the periodically uh, with the uh, triggers and those things you can try out. Okay. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Let's meet on the next video and 